Lankin Cave costs 30 quetzales or 375 US dollars for the entrance. We had to see the bats flee the cave at 6 p.m. for dinner. We stayed in Lankin and took colectivos to Samukchan Bay and Kamba Cave. The road is rough and with inexpensive transportation available, we felt taking the van wasn't necessary. The colectivo was 25 quetzales each way. Unfortunately, pets are not allowed to Samukchampe or the nearby caves. So we set Graham and Sombrita up with extra toys and treats for the extra hours without us. The hike to the Mirador in Samukchampe was a half an hour. All uphill, but the views were incredibly rewarding. Leaving the viewpoint, another path leads directly to the pools. Just got a coconut full of coconut water back there. It's pretty good. Ten quetzales. We're at the very top of it all. Samukchampe is basically one huge cave formation. Water flowing through limestone caves reaches the river here, and layers of deposited minerals create natural pools. My good friend Cameron recommended this spot a year ago, back when we were entering Mexico, and now I see why. Samukchampe is one of the best swimming holes ever, and the nearby caves are exciting to explore. Under the pools rages a huge underground river. Across the bridge from Samutan Bay is a cave called Kamba. Before heading into the cave, we wandered the natural area around it. Oh, look at that! You can swim right there! The... Yeah, you can see the that looks warm, huh? 
That's the warmest swimming hole right there. The sun beating down on it. There it is! We found the outer edge of Samuk Jampe, as well as where the underground river returns to sunlight. But the best part of Kamba is exploring the underground water cave with only a candle for light. At some parts, you pull yourself through with a rope, all while still holding a candle. Holding the camera made it a bit more difficult, and in a narcissistic blunder I lost the rope. Flailing around, I finally caught it again, after a minor cut when my shin hit a rock underwater, but we pushed onward. Exploring a cave by candlelight is definitely an adventure, and one that I'd looked forward to. I don't always climb caves by candlelight, but when I do, I recommend choosing the rope up the waterfall over the ladder. Guide took us to a spot in the cave that is deep enough to jump in, and Danny even took the plunge. Champe was 50 quetzales each and Kam Ba was 60 quetzales each, which included the tour as well as access to the hike and a river fed pool. We headed back to the van to start our drive to the next spot. On a little walk with the dog and the cat. Cat is following. Pretty sweet spot, 50 Q for the night. So, what is that in dollars, babe? Um, that would be uh, six dollars. 
This is great after Samukjang Bay. Get the zoomies out. You find a little hole in the rock, Kermi? What's over there, buddy? Oh, geez, thanks. Thanks, wet dog. We definitely recommend checking out Simuk Champe in that part of Guatemala. You'll find tons of caves and clean swimming holes.